friends i'm nikhil in this video i'm going to show you how to transfer data of one google drive account to another so basically there are two types of uh, accounts google drive accounts one can be a normal gmail account or normal google account you can say and the second one is the g suite account which is you know sort of the google I have custom domain like jit.org.in or maybe your organization name so to transfer the data between normal google account to normal to another normal account is very easy and same goes with the same domain of g suite accounts so which is very easy and i have categorized it as type 1 transfer and the second type is between two different G Suite domain or between G Suite domain account and a normal Google account. So as I said, for type 1, it is very easy and I have just provided a link in the description. You can just follow that link and it is by Google itself. So uh, you can transfer the ownership of files for type 1 transfer. But for type 2 transfer, uh, you just have to follow me or if you have any other uh, technique to transfer files you can tell us in the description or in the comments below so just follow me so here this is my uh, g suit domain account provided by my college it is gid.org.in uh, i have made a folder over here called test migrate and it only con consists of only a uh, test file having random data so i have shared this file with the account in which i have to sh uh, transfer the file so you just have to do that only this is my account in which i have i have to transfer this you know, folder data this folder is only having a file is only having a one file over here but you can have as many files as you can as you can store actually so i have shared this uh, it doesn't matter that you have given uh, what kind of rights you can you have given read only rights or edit rights it doesn't matter but you just have to share that file to the account in which you have to transfer the data so here's the folder test migrate and shared with me section over here in this account nickel.1 1026 this is a normal account so this is type 2 transfer so what you just have to do is uh, i provided a link in the description for an app called drive migrator and it is a chrome application google chrome application so uh, just one thing which is mandatory over here is you need to have google chrome so I have installed it already, but you have to install it if you don't if you do not have that application. So this is Drive Migrator. And first, it will ask you for the review permission. It will ask you for the permission to access your account. So just uh, give the permission, and after that, select the account in which you have to transfer. So you must be signed in if, and if you are not signed in, it will ask you to sign into that account. And I suggest you to use this application in normal mode and not in incognito mode. And just allow. After allowing this, select this that pan tool and it will list out all the folders in your drive that means all the folders that are shared with you and all the folders that are your own folders that means with your ownership so it will list out all the folders just select that folder uh, which you have to transfer in your google drive account so this is the test migrate uh, this folder is, is actually which i tested it before today so this is the folder which I have to transfer. I just have to select this and click on copy. 
Now what it says is that depending on the number of files it might take a while. Currently 5000 files take one day to copy. So this is their statement. This is not my application. I am just giving you a tutorial. So uh, it might take, take time and it might also not take time but I can't say how much time it can take. This is just folder which I made below. Let me just delete it. So this is the file which they provide. Uh, when you start copying, when you click on that copy button, this is an auto-generated file in which the list list out all of the uh, file names uh, uh, which is in that particular folder which you selected for the transfer. So this was the only file and it is listed over here that it is not yet processed when it will be processed and whatever will be the status after processing that means is it successful successfully processed or um, there might be some error so it will just show you the status after processing and uh, the folder will be here uh, as the one I deleted before, uh, just now, the folder will be created here only in your my drive and it will be named as my backup uh, hyphen date and time. So I will just show you after some time. Let me pause the video. So guys, I paused my video at 14.49 and it is 14.53 now and the folder is here and it is now transferred in my drive so as you can see you can rewind the video and see that it was 0 bytes of 15 GB and now it is 61 bytes of 15 GB so now it is my ownership <laughs> well actually it was my ownership before also but this is the ownership of this account and we have successfully transferred the file into this uh, account across the domains across uh, a G suit to normal domain so thanks for watching if you need any help you can comment freely and you can also visit my blog article if you do not want to watch video and I know I am saying this at the end of the video and it is not at all helping so if you like the video subscribe it and what else i can say goodbye